So this right here is the OCT5 Plus external monitor. You need to buy this monitor and let me tell you why. So to make a very long story short, I needed to get a new monitor. My Atomus Ninja V was picking up a bit of a yellow banana-like hue when it came to doing any re internal recording of video or also internal display of video from my cinema camera. Now, I saw my buddy Nigel Beros post a review of the OCT5 Plus on his channel and I was hooked. Now, this monitor was not sent to me for review, as you can tell. I bought this monitor with my own money, and I'm very glad I did because there is so much value in this little OC external monitor. So let's talk about the specifics of the monitor, the build quality, and ultimately why it represents such great value for any sort of mirrorless camera shooting. So number one, the screen. This is a 5.5 inch 3D LUT monitor with 1000 nits of brightness. 1000 nits, that's not bad. It has a 1920 by 1080 aspect ratio of full HD. It is a 1000 to one contrast ratio and 16.77 million colors with 400 PPI. So for connection, it has a quarter inch screw hole. It's got a Sony NP or Sony MPF battery slot at the back that you can use for the batteries themselves or also a dummy battery. It has a battery out port. It has a type C DC in port. So if you're looking to do any sort of V mount battery connection through a USB port or USB C, you got that covered. It has a 4K HDMI in for HDMI connection, it has an earphone jack, and it even has an SD card slot. Now the SD card slot in this case is huge because you can input LUTs directly into this monitor to be able to monitor the style of shooting and the style of coloring you might be doing in post. Now, many monitors in the higher end series and Atomos as well as in small HD offer that feature, but you don't usually find it in budget solutions. So to have that 3D option of being able to pop in a SD card slot for your LUT monitoring, that's huge. And it really does change the game when it comes to value with this little monitor. So let's take a look under the hood of the operating system as well as the menu formats. Now we have an aspect ratio adjustment. We have a safe zone for being able to ensure that your subject is safely centered and framing. You have a center option to adjust and to also assist with said framing. You have a cross hatch adjustment too, which is huge. You have an anamorphic support to this monitor. Anamorphic support on a monitor less than $200. That's pretty impressive. You also have zebra functions that you can turn on and off and adjust. You have focus peaking and you have focus assist, as well as the ability of being able to upload your LUTs, as well as a different color functionality format within this monitor. Moving along, we also have multi-scopes. We have false color. We've got zebra patterns and we have vector format, as well as a histogram and the ability of being able to monitor and look at audio levels. So let's do an unboxing. Now, I'm not going to do a top-down box in this case. I'm just going to get right to the point. We have the monitor, which right now is plugged into my battery, but you get the monitor. Number two, you get your quick service guide as well as the quick start guide that you have the manual. So next up, you actually get HDMI cables. And in this case, you get yourself a micro HDMI cable. Now, if you're a Lumix S5 user, that saves you about 40 bucks from buying yourself a or mini HDMI cable. That's just at a value that you get with the monitor when you open the box. So next up is that you get yourself a sun hood and it has elastic bands that you can wrap around the monitor for outdoor shooting. And that's huge. That saves you about 30 or $40 right there from buying an accessory for your monitor. And last but not least, you have yourself a support arm, which is well-made. It's made of metal and it has a cold shoe mount as well as an adjustable option screw that you can screw in the monitor to be able to adjust the monitor for tilt functions when using your mirrorless camera. Now, if you are building a rig, I would recommend picking up a small rig, little, you know, cold shoe mount adapter for your monitor. It just gives you more peace of mind, a bit more durability, but that little adapter is not a bad option and it comes right out of the box. So I always laugh with YouTube reviews when they show the little like kind of in video option of a screen record or the additional export of video on this monitor. There's no point in showcasing the monitors directly onto this camera right now because it's just gonna blur it out or give strange color readings. But suffice it to say that the image quality is beautiful and it's also incredibly bright and it will get the job done both indoors as well as outdoors. So on the topic of build quality, this little monitor is a fully plastic monitor and that's possibly one drawback because it's not aluminum, it's not metal. If you drop this, I wouldn't want to see the result of what would happen to it, but it does make this monitor extremely light. So there are pros and cons to that light 
a plasticky chassis you're housing the monitors in. It also has a, a bit of a flimsy button here for menu selection. So, you know, use your products with soft hands whenever you're doing any kind of work with them. I think it goes for every product. Always use kit gloves when shooting with video gear. But the monitor selection tool here, this little red button slash joystick, is a little sensitive, so be careful with it if you're using it outdoors, if it's cold, make sure you go quietly and carefully when you're making your selections so you don't break that. It does have a metal quarter inch thread hole, which is great. So one amazing part of this little monitor is the recessed HDMI port area. Now this is huge because the HDMI area can live essentially inside the monitor to about roughly, I'd say two inches. And that's great because even on the Atomus Ninja V, you still have the full HDMI cable hanging off of the monitor. In this case, you have a bit of an extra secure grip when it comes to your HDMI cable staying in. If you knock against it, it's not gonna fall out because most of the head of the HDMI cable will live within the chassis of this monitor. So the benefit to having mostly a plastic chassis is that it makes the monitor very lightweight. If you're using this with a dummy NPF battery at the back, this is a very lightweight solution for your mirrorless camera. And on that topic, I would highly recommend picking up this monitor if you have a Lumix S5 or maybe a Sony A7S III or even a Canon R6, for example. This, this monitor is a wonderful solution to be able to provide you with that external monitor without adding a lot of heft to your overall camera build. So that is one benefit of not having a heavy monitor or a heavy aluminum chassis. But bear in mind, it does make it very sensitive and you have to be careful when operating this monitor. So you get all of that for essentially 200 American dollars or the equivalent of 3,845 Canadian. Exchange rates are fun. So this is a really smart buy. Now I can't say it enough how impressed I am with the overall ability of this monitor. I've used it on a couple of shoots now, both indoors and outdoors and it's performed really well. And also the battery life with this bright 1000 nit display doesn't seem to suck up the MP batteries too quickly, which is also a really nice key feature. And on top of that, it's really quiet. You can barely hear this monitor. And I know with the Atomus Ninja V, that fan can get kind of loud if it's next to a shotgun microphone. So that's a nice little added bonus too. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like and subscribe button below and check out my description below for links on how you can purchase this OC-T5 Plus. And to the good folks at OC, if you want me to review a product of your monitors or whatever else, I will be happy to review in the future because I'm super impressed with the quality you're giving as well as value to the consumer. And until next time, if you have any questions, hit me up below and stay tuned for all things video, tech, gear, and budget solutions on how you can maximize your film and videography game. Peace.